you're probably thinking, great, another video on how not to start a business. But hear me out. I've got something really special for you today that I believe will help you avoid some common startup mistakes. So be ready for my top 7 tips on how to succeed in your new venture without making any costly blunders. Hey everyone, it's Zenko Studio and today I want to talk about something really important, starting a business the right way from the get-go. Even if you're totally new to this whole thing, there are still some things you need to keep in mind if you want your business to be a success. That's why today I'm bringing you my top 7 tips on how not to make any common startup mistakes. So stay with me till the end of this video and let me help guide you through the entire process of starting your very own business. 1. Not planning and not thinking through the entire process of your startup. This might have consequences that you don't expect. For one, not planning could mean that you miss out on valuable resources or potential partners. It could also lead to a lack of clarity about your goals and what the eventual end game for your startup might be. This can cause unnecessary stress and uncertainty, which can ultimately impact the trajectory of your company. Additionally, if you're not effectively communicating with stakeholders such as employees and investors, then they may pull away or even abandon you altogether if they feel like they are not being kept in the loop as things progress. 2. Choosing the wrong business idea One of the most common mistakes entrepreneurs make when choosing their business idea is not thinking outside the box. It's important to be creative and innovative, but it's also important to consider what is currently available in the market. There are many successful businesses that were founded on pre-existing trends or concepts, so don't forget to research your target audience and what they are interested in. Another mistake startup entrepreneurs make is failing to properly assess their own skills and weaknesses. You need a good understanding of your own strengths and weaknesses if you want your business idea to succeed. 3. Failing to properly market and sell your business There are a few key things you need to do when starting your own business, but marketing and selling can often be overlooked. Here are some tips. Creation of a catchy and attention-grabbing logo is essential for startup businesses. Make sure it's simple, yet eye-catching so potential customers will remember it easily. Try to get in front of as many people as possible with online advertising or guerrilla marketing techniques such as street outreach or social media campaigns. This could include posting about your product on relevant forums or websites, handing out flyers at local events. 4. Not focusing on the financial aspect of the business. This is a common rookie mistake. When starting out, it can be tempting to put all your focus on the business side of things, developing the product, finding funding, and building up the team. However, this is not always the most important thing. If you cannot make a profit or cannot cover your costs with sales alone, then you will likely fail. It is essential to keep an eye on both your financial condition and overall progress in order to ensure that your startup remains viable into the future. 5. Not setting milestones and deadlines for the startup business leads to stagnation. Not having a clear vision and goals for the startup business leads to stagnation. 6. Not building a team of people who will help you achieve your goals. Building a team of people who will help you achieve your goals in a startup is critical to your success. Your team members should be able to support and challenge you, as well as provide feedback that can help you improve your startup skills. You'll also need teammates with complementary strengths, so make sure to consider hiring individuals from different backgrounds and industries when assembling your team. 7. Not taking care of personal responsibilities such as health, finances, and relationships can lead to long-term hardships. Most startup businesses are founded with the dream of making a difference in the world. However, if these businesses don't take care of their own basic needs, such as health, finances, and relationships, they can quickly find themselves struggling. Here are four reasons why taking care of your personal responsibilities is important. You'll be more productive than if you didn't take care of your personal responsibilities. If you're neglecting your personal responsibilities, it's likely that you're also neglecting your work productivity overall. With all these things in mind, we can say that the number one way to avoid starting an unplanned business is not to risk too much and make wrong decisions. Instead of rushing into a new venture blindly, you can take time to carefully plan your path. And if you still cannot stop yourself from making mistakes, keep watching this video for our mistakes and how to avoid them. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.